Welcome along to a freelancesupermarket.com tutorial. What we're going to show you today is how to create a profile if you're a recruitment agent. Now, it's nice and easy. So here we are on the home page, and you can see our leave tables here. Now, to sign up, you just have to click the rather aptly named sign up button here. Box comes up with all your, your details to fill out. Uh, fairly self-explanatory, so I'll just quickly fill these out now. Right, here we go, just filled those out for you um, just there. And, uh, so member type, agent, that goes without saying. Name, choose your password, uh, pop in your email and confirm it, just to uh, state how you found us. And uh, subscribe to our weekly newsletter, I, I wholeheartedly recommend that. That's a, a nice, concise, once a week um, synopsis of the site uh, with our top stories, top forum threads, uh, just to keep you in the loop. And just fill out there just to let us know that you're not a nasty spam bot. Just uh, something to mention across the whole of the site, any option boxes which are dark blue with the text next to them, those are publicly visible. Anything that's light blue, such as your, your password and your email, are not publicly visible. When you sign up to freelancesupermarket.com, uh, we never show off your, your email address. That's completely safe. Uh, green sign up button there. Click that. And it's easy as that. So now you've signed up, there'll be a confirmation, confirmation email that goes to your uh, personal email address that you, you popped in that box on the last page. And uh, you can go straight into editing your profile, which is here. So what I'll do is I'll uh, quickly fill this out and then take you through uh, some of the stuff that you, you can pop in your profile. Okay, so I filled out uh, some of the profile details here. And uh, once again, just to reiterate, light blue won't be publicly visible, dark blue will be. So uh, most of it does what it says on the tin, uh, agency, location, job title. Just don't forget that every time you, you fill out one of these boxes, click this green update button. Uh, just make sure you don't lose your changes. Uh, it's actually personal. Profile's the next one there. And uh, you can fill those in. We've got these uh, skills and qualifications box. You can pop one in and then say, for example, you need to add another qualification. Easy as that. So. And uh, like I said, always click update. And uh, there we go, it's nicely saved. And uh, on locations covered, if you need to select more than one location, hold down the control key and uh, you can select and deselect those at will. And the, the final part of your profile that you can update there is your picture and choose a, a nice looking photo of yourself. Uh, one thing I would recommend is uh, that to edit it yourself in some photo software. The, the maximum size is 175 by 175 pixels. It, it does remind you that there, so don't go furiously writing that down. And uh, that'll save it being stretched or, or cropped in a, in a weird way. So there we go, select your file, click update. There we go, the updated. Uh, as easy as that. Other things that you'd want to do from your uh, profile page here once you're logged in, uh, you'll notice that you, you, this blue bar appears at the top. So that's to view your profile. If you ever need to edit it again, click in there. Add jobs there, which uh, I will cover in another tutorial. And uh, here's where you find your inbox. I'll change color if you receive a message uh, from our internal messaging system. Feedback, so you can uh, provide or request feedback to, to anyone in our database. Um, obviously, there's feedback rules which are covered there. And you can request feedback from anyone that you've placed before, pop their email and uh, address in there, click request f uh, feedback and they'll be able to come on the site and uh, provide that for you. Obviously that helps you rise up the league table so it's really worth doing that. And contact preferences which is an uh, important one to mention. This is where you can control who can contact you on the internal messaging system. Uh, on Freelance Supermarket uh, you can choose who gets in touch. So wishes to be contacted. Uh, contacted by contractors. Yes, no. If you click no, no contractors will be able to contact you and it goes all the way down. Um, and also you can uh, select whether you receive messages when you get uh, feedback or a, a new message in the internal messaging system. And finally, last one across there is accounts. This is where you can quite easily uh, change your name. So if you, you get married, for example, uh, change your email and your password. So it's really, really simple to uh, update your profile on Freelance Supermarket. If you have any problems, we've got some help files. Please do get in touch. Thanks for watching.